Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I am filming at night for some reason and I just decided, you know what, my birthday's tomorrow. This is probably going to go up on my birthday if we can get it all edited in time. And I really want to do my best and worst of 2021 video before we get too far into January. So today that is what we're going to do. I have several categories I'm going to start with um, from clothing to shoes to skincare, SLGs, handbags, and one book. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I think we're going to start with skincare. Let's just start there because I'm looking at it. This year, I really got serious about sun protection. And I can thank Dr. Dre for that, among other YouTube skincare influencers that I enjoy. This became my favorite sunscreen of the year. It is by Elta MD. It is SPF 46 UV clear. And it is just a great, great sunscreen for sensitive skin, redness prone skin. It's a little bit pricey. This is my second bottle. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but what I usually do is wait for one of the big um, skincare websites to do a sale. They'll do like 15 or 20% off from time to time, and then try to stock up on this if I need it or any other skincare that I like. So this is a great sunscreen. My favorite cleansing balm that I started using this year is by Pharmacy. This is called Green Clean, and I'm actually almost done with this. I also like the Paula's Choice one, but I I like this one too. And I got the Paula's Choice one last year, I think. So this one is almost gone though. I'm going to have to buy some more of this. The smell is great. It's just got this lime margarita smell to it. And yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and it just is works so well for getting off makeup, sunscreen, whatever's on your face, and then follow with a gentle cleanser. It's just, it just does the job. So if you're looking for a first step in a double cleanse, I would highly recommend you start with pharmacy. They also come, they also have this in um, cherry or apple. They have a couple different scents. Normally I only use fragrance in something that's wash off, like cleanser or shampoo. And so this is great. Another skincare product that I started using this year is CeraVe Healing Ointment. And I got a humongous tub of it. It's a little bigger than I wanted, but it's what they had at the drugstore. And I actually use this in the winter when my hands are super duper dry. It's just a petrolatum based ointment. It's also great as a lip balm. So I have a smaller like purse sized um, lip balm of this. <laughs> and um, of course, this is another Dr. Dre recommendation, though lots of dermatologists recommend this. It's just petrolatum with some ceramides in it, and it just, you know, locks in hydration and protects your skin, especially if your skin is chapped or dry. Works great as a lip balm if you just want something very, very simple. So that's also one of my best purchases. Next, I'm gonna just talk about one book because I did read 40 books this year. My goal was 40, and I just hit it at like literally the last day of the year. <laughs> And uh, this I read earlier in the year, and I only wanted to have one book in this video because I really don't want this video to be too long. We'll see how that goes. Um, and it's called The Secret History by Donna Tartt. And yes, I realized that this book came out like in the 90s, <laughs> and I'm just now getting around to reading it. But I absolutely love this. And the reason I it's on my list is because it was one of those books where I just could not wait to pick it up and read it some more. Like I'd be, you know, out doing things during the day and still be thinking about these characters or the story or wanting to find out what was gonna happen. And I was sad when it was over and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna read that again. In fact, maybe this year I will read it again. This is an amazing book. Um, in fact, I then bought The Goldfinch, another book by this author, and read that too, and it's also amazing. So if you haven't read The Secret History, I don't know if I can even explain what it's about, <laughs> but it's it's really good. It's com compelling as can be and incredibly well-written, so one of my favorites of last year. 
All right, now we're gonna talk about clothes and shoes. And I'm gonna keep this one pretty short, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, first, shoes. I bought these on sale from Nordstrom in the fall. They are Tory, Bur Tory Birch <laughs> Lug Sole Chelsea Boots in suede, black suede. And I absolutely adore these. I wear them so much. I wore these like throughout the fall. I wore these because they're so comfortable and they're so flattering with leggings and tights. They're just great. And of course they've got this huge chunky sole, which has some little tiny pebbles stuck in it right now. Um, they're just great for walking. I wouldn't take a walk in them, but if you're like walking around during the day doing things, these are really comfortable to wear. So they are out of stock now, but if in the fall, Tory Burch comes out with another pair of boots, I recommend you try to find them on sale. Another pair of shoes I bought this year, I got these at Saks, I think. They are Cole Haan white leather sneakers, and they have this calf hair, printed calf hair detail on the front, and they have black leather on the back of the heel. They are just simple little white sneakers, but they're just so cute. And they just look great with jeans. And I was really careful because they are white, optic white leather. So I was pretty scared to, you know, take the plunge and buy these. But they only have a couple, one or two little tiny spots, which I think if I just took a sponge, I could probably wipe them off. And there's some stuff on the laces too, which I think you can wash. Um, but it doesn't really bug me that much. These are still looking pretty good. I just don't walk in them. I don't walk wearing them while I'm in nature. That's my rule. <laughs> I can, they can go on the floor and they can go on pavement and uh, that's about it. And not in the rain. Next I wanna show you guys, next I wanna show you guys this robe. I got this from a local store where I live, but you can buy it online. I'll link it down below. It is a cloud robe by Pretty You London. I think they are a London-based company. It is so soft and cozy and plush. It, I don't know if I can even show you guys how gorgeous this is. I'm going to wrap it up. So you can see, oh, I just put this on in the morning and I'm so cozy and it's lined and it has big giant pockets and this humongous hood. It's just so over the top. And I really love it. <laughs> I wear this all the time. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a best. And I bought a few robes this year of varying weights and prices. I think this one was like $80, which compared to the, you know, the Versace robe, it's not that bad. And it is, you know, this is very soft and cozy. So if you're looking for a robe, they still have this on their website. I will link them down below. Last uh, in clothing are these pullovers I got from Amazon and they are UPF protection um, hoodie. Well, this one's a hoodie. This one's not, this is a half zip, this is a full zip. And these are just very thin, lightweight, um, pullover garments that I would wear every day when I was walking the dogs in the spring and summer when it was hot out because they have uh, UPF 50 protection. So I could put this on and not have to slather myself with sunscreen when I wanted to walk the dogs and not get, you know, too hot or, you know, it also would, you know, protect me when it was like kind of cool in the morning. So I wore these a ton and, uh, you know, it was Dr. Dre again, made me do it. She's very influential. Yeah. So these are awesome. They come in like about a million colors. This one has like pink and then goes down to turn blue at the bottom. Uh, they're true to size. They're really cute. They're really comfortable. Even when it's hot, they don't, because of the way the material is made, they don't like, you don't get really hot wearing them. So yeah, this is another favorite purchase from last year. I only have one jewelry item to talk about because I really wanna to try to 
keep this not too long, but they are these earrings from Ana Luisa. These are elongated hoop uh, gold earrings from Ana Luisa. I think they're called Cuidado. And they are just very simple, easy to wear, comfortable, lightweight. I wore them a ton. I bought a few pieces from Ana Luisa this year, as did many others, I'm sure. They were all over the place. Um, but these were the ones I probably wore the most, just because they're just simple, pretty gold hoops that have something a little, a little different about them. Oh, and check out my headband, too. Thanks, Yota. I'm going to link Yota down below, Yota Style. She found this headband on Etsy and told me about them, and so I ordered one. I ordered another one from that same Etsy seller as well, and I will link that in the description box. It's really cute. It's got this it's a simple black ribbon with a, a chain detail running through it, and so it's just another headband for my collection. We are going to move on to favorite SLG purchases of 2021. Let's start with a Zippy coin purse. A zippy coin purse from Louis Vuitton in Damier a Ben. I got this in February. It quickly became one of my most used favorite wallet styles. I know some people aren't into it and some people love it. And I'm one of the ones who loves it. To me, it's just so compact and it holds many cards. And I really actually like the zipper and uh, it's pink inside and I liked it so much that I got the black multicolor one as well from Fashion File. So now I have two and I could probably have three if I hadn't told myself to stop buying wallets. And the other wallet that I got this year that I really love is the Tigerama coin card holder in Fuchsia. Uh, this is from the men's collection and it came out i think in march i think and um, and definitely make sure you check out which colors they do this spring because they usually do a couple of new fun colors every spring at least they have the last two or three years this year it was a blue and this pink and i just love it it's just so functional well designed and i got one that was really well made We've got silver hardware, which doesn't happen very often with Louis Vuitton, but because it's the men's collection, that's just how they choose to do things. Um, I ordered this from my client advisor after it was all sold out on the website, and she told me I would have to wait six weeks, and I was like, okay. And so six weeks later, sure enough, it shipped, and I wasn't even sure if it was going to happen, but then I got it, and I was pretty psyched. So I'm interested to see what colors they're going to come out with, if they do come out with another one, a uh, release of this wallet, I hope they do. And I would love it in, um, they did, they've done orange in the past. They've done uh, the lime green or fluorescent yellow, whatever you want to call it, the one that Cassie has. And uh, it's just fabulous wallet. Another of my favorite SLG purchases of this year, last year, is the by Keller Emprunt mini pochette. And this came out in uh, June or something like that. And I just managed to get one on the website before the price increase in October or yeah. And these are on the website all the time. I actually checked today and it was available. So don't be falling for Fashion Files on prompt mini pochettes because while they're still $790 at retail, you can just buy them from Louis Vuitton. I see these all over Fashion File just marked up. But it is so beautiful. It's, I'm so happy I got this. It has the microfiber interior, which you can't see, but trust me. And it is a mini pochette, which I, for my other mini pochettes, I use them as a little catch all in my bag. But because this one is so beautiful and special, I would use this, this one I would use as a mini bag. I mean, as long as you've got another place to put your phone, it is perfect as a going out little mini clutch. Highly recommend if you just want one special mini pochette that you pick this one up. 
Last but definitely not least, on my favorite SLG purchases of the year, this is probably one of my favorite Louis Vuitton purchases of the year, one of my favorite Louis Vuitton purchases of all time. It is the desk agenda cover in Damier of Ben, and it is an A5 size that holds an A5 agenda, and I use this every day. I use a planner system from Cloth and Paper, and is in these discs, disc bound. And I just put in my inserts for this year. As you can see, I don't know if you can even see this because it's so blown out by my lights, but there are is one week to two pages and each day is oriented vertically. So you've got tasks, your agenda, and notes at the bottom. And then it's just very clean. There aren't a lot of like illustrations or design all over it because I like to keep it pretty basic so that I can really just fill it with writing and see what I'm doing. And anyways, this is awesome. I love this. I'm so glad I got it. It has coated canvas on the outside. It has the taiga leather on the inside and they're very, very difficult to find for whatever reason. I don't know why they don't prioritize this more, but if you go through client services or your client advisor, like I did, you should be able to track one down eventually because they do, they are available. They're just not that many of them and you have to be patient and persistent in getting one. It also comes in monogram and in damier graphite. And this is my favorite size. It comes in all these other sizes. This one's my favorite. We are finally at favorite handbag purchases of 2021, finally. Um, I don't know what order to go in. Maybe we can just go in chronological order with the bag that I bought in February, which is the Reverse Monogram Pochette Matisse. This made the list because I carry this all the time. I love it. It works in rainy weather. It works in sunny weather. It works 365 days a year. It holds everything I need for my essentials. It doesn't have any Baquetta on it, black leather. It's so cute. It's the perfect size. Could go on and on. Everybody knows about this bag. I like to change up the straps. I wear all kinds of different straps with it. It has the um, microfiber lining. It is stuffed right now. And it's just awesome. I'm so glad I got one of these. I've fallen in love with it even more since I got it. Um, I bought it off a of fashion file one night. I was just browsing and it popped up at the top of the new arrivals and it was uh, only $20, $20 over retail, which is shocking for fashion file. And so I immediately put it in my cart and it's, it came to me in excellent condition. It didn't seem like anybody had really used it at all. It does not have any of the glazing issues that this bag had a few years ago and they had to do recalls. And so I think I got lucky. Um, they had already fixed that by the time this one was made. So yeah, I'm really pleased to have gotten the Pochette Matisse. And then in March, I added the Speedy 25, the Bandolier Speedy 25 in Damier Azure. And I am so pleased that I finally got an Azure bag. I have Damier Azure SLGs. I have the mini pochette. I have the Koala wallet that I got back in 2007. Um, I have the pochette clay, which I also got this year. And I considered selling, and I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I kept it. And uh, yeah, so this is one of my favorites because it's just perfect for summer. I love the pattern. I love the way the honey vachetta looks on the bag, the way it's turning into a nice golden color. It's made in France. I bought it pre-loved uh, from Rebag, but you know, I really love this one because it is a little older, meaning that the canvas is a little bit thicker, a little more sturdy. It's just a great bag. It's just a great speedy. And I like this one better than the monogram because while it does still have some creases in the canvas, they're really not as noticeable on the light color print. So it doesn't really bug me as much. And the inside, which is stuffed right now, of course, um, is a light color. 
So it's easy to just look in there and see everything and see what you need to find. So I do love this little speedy and I'm glad I got it this year. Okay, so we're still going in chronological order. And this is the bag that I got in early June, late May. It's the Gucci Marmont small shoulder bag in emerald green. And I just can't say enough about this. I did a whole video with a six month review of this bag the wear and tear, of which there is none. I think I've carried it a reasonable amount to get an idea of how much I like it, and I do love it. I'm really glad I got this color. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it came, this collection, in, it also came in blue and red and numerous other colors. They've put out another collection for this, uh, this year with a different a pattern on the leather, a more geometric pattern. This is definitely a favorite from this year. This was a gift from my husband <laughs> for our anniversary, but I did pick it out and ask for it. And I'm so glad I did. Again, this came from Fashion File. Gosh, Fashion File is all over this video. This is the Loewe Small Puzzle Bag in sand and mink pebbled leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad I have one because I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford another one. But yeah, this is gorgeous. It has a little secret pocket on the back which can hold, I don't know, a mask. I usually put a mask down there. There's a flap and underneath the flap is a very, very smooth zipper that opens up to the inside. It's actually pretty spacious inside. Holds quite a bit. I have no trouble with the flap and the zipper because I usually just leave the zipper open. It has this really cute handle. It slouches once you've got everything in there. And I usually put a scarf around this handle because I think it really dresses it up. And of course, you've got your crossbody or shoulder strap that you can take off if you want to, but I usually have it on there. So yeah, this is uh, one of my absolute favorites from this year and one of the favorites in my collection. The last bag on my list of favorite handbag purchases of 2021 is this multicolor Pusha accessoire from the Murakami collection from 2003. This bag itself is from 2003. And it actually was manufactured in the first run of this collection, which I consider miraculous that I got one from the real real in such amazing condition. It came to me with almost no wear, which was incredible, except for the Pachetta has patina a little bit. It came to me with a free shoulder strap inside that was not disclosed in the listing. Uh, if you want to see me unbox this, by the way, it's my very first video on my channel. So look out for some very, very dark lighting. Anyway, it's beautiful. I have always wanted something from this collection in a handbag. I have had SLGs in the past, but never a handbag. And um, I absolutely love this. I love this. I'm so glad I got one and that I got it in black. Obviously, it's also available in white. Um, white used to be the colorway that I liked in this collection, but now I prefer the black. I just think it looks cooler. And so I'm really happy that I got this this year. Okay, so this video is already pretty long. Thanks for sticking around toward the end. This, uh, I'm really quickly gonna talk about my worst purchases of the year. And uh, I probably only have time for a couple, so I'm just gonna go through them as quick as I can. <laughs> but these are the ones that I purchased that I actually still have. And um, I don't have any plans to sell, but maybe I will down the road. But first we have this key ring from Louis Vuitton. It is from the By the Pool collection that came out in the spring. This is in a cream colored emprunt leather with an ombre light to dark effect. It is just a leather loop on a key ring. It's very beautiful, it's very cute, it's limited and everything. And I bought it because um, I wanted something from this collection and everything had just sold out, but this was available. So I thought, oh, that's cute. I don't have a keychain. I'll just get this. And <laughs> I got a scarf too, actually. I got one of the, um, 
the bandeaus as well in pink, which I really like. But this, um, while I have used it as a key ring, it's just very overpriced. And I, I'm sorry that I spent so much money on it. And it's not very good for keys, I have just recently learned, because you put your keys on the spring and then they just bang around inside your bag, scratching everything, scratching the metal right here. And, um, you know, it's just, it's really not a good purchase for me. And I still have it because then I got another one. I got the uh, Dauphine Dragon key ring. I'll put a picture up here because I no longer have it because I sent it off to Fashion File, which was a smart thing to do. So I got rid of that one and uh, I just, I just don't use that for keys anymore because it's just, it's just not um, a very practical way to carry keys for me because I carry my keys in a purse, not in my pocket. I've moved on to a six key case. So the next purchase that I'm not too jazzed about this year is this coach wristlet. And I'll tell you why. I got the tote in this pattern with this coated canvas and leather. I wanted to get something to match it. And this is all I could find was this wristlet. And it's very beautiful. It's super well made. It's a really nice wristlet. There's nothing wrong with this. It's, um, you know, quality materials. It's a nice pouch. But when I got it, I realized it was a lot bigger than I thought it would be because I've had coach wristlets in the past and they always were smaller than this. This one is just huge to me. And so it wasn't really going to serve the purpose I wanted, which was to carry cards and folded papers and coupons and random paper items because it's just a little too big for that for me. It doesn't fit into a small handbag very well. And so that's one of the reasons I was so in interested in the Chanel O case that I showed in my last video, because the O case is just a little bit smaller. I think it's four by six, and this is more like six by eight or something, or five by seven. And so this was just a little too big. And I know it's nitpicky, but you know, if there's just one thing about a bag or an SLG that is just off to you and it's just doesn't work for you, you're just not going to use it, especially if you already have, you know, a pretty big collection. Some things are just going to get left behind. And so unfortunately, that's this cute wristlet. So this just stays in the tote that it matches. And I guess the next time I pull out that tote, maybe I will transfer some things into here and use this. I mean, it would serve the same purpose as a mini pochette, but it is, you know, very, very flat. So it will bulge out and everything. But who knows? I'm going to give it a try. I'm not going to give up on it. I'm not going to sell it. But it is just one of my worst purchases, unfortunately, of 2021. I could go on, but I feel like I've already gone on for about a half an hour at this point. And so I am going to wrap up this video right here. There are a couple other things I was going to talk about on the worst list, but, you know, let's just keep it positive. <laughs> um... In 2022, I'm definitely not going to be purchasing as much. I'm hoping I can make a video about that too, about my 2022 goals and wish list. So look for that in the future. Um, tomorrow's my birthday, and hopefully this video will go up on my birthday. And then I'm going to film a what I got for my birthday video. Uh, so we'll see whenever that gets up. So thank you so much for watching, and I would appreciate... Uh, if you'd like to subscribe and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I'd love a comment below if you have any thoughts on the items I shared in this video or if you have some favorites that I shared with you. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I really appreciate um, all the comments I get and all of you who have subscribed. I'm so grateful. Thank you for watching. And so I'm going to wrap this up now. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's oolong. It's oolong. What a good girl. What a good girl. <laughs>